To be in the privileged position of coming back for a second season of any show is always a little nerve-wracking. It's kind of like getting to take control of an aircraft carrier. It's exhilarating, but it's also intimidating. Returning to the courtroom steps with 600 extras all dressed in period clothing was really thrilling. We had such a good collaborative company and having something to be that excited to go back into was rare. Action. Season two takes place about six months or so after the end of the first season when Perry's taken over EB's firm. Who are you? Good morning, Mr. Mason. I'm your new secretary. I want. He's coming off of this great victory with Emily Dotson, and that high can only last so long. We start the season with this strange place when no one really knows what the purpose of the work is. Hey, can we focus, please? Perry is going through this awful imposter syndrome, wondering, do I really want to be part of the legal profession, or is it easier just to sort of leave everything behind? Ultimately, he's looking for a purpose. Mr. Mason, Miss Street, this is... My name is Luisa Gallardo. We came to see you because my nephews, Rafael and Mateo, were arrested. Even though we find Perry retreating at a rate of knots, there is a case that presents himself that will appeal to the very core of his nature. Two young Latino boys who've been accused of murdering an enormous pillar in the Los Angeles community. They aren't killers. Rafael is an artist. And Mateo, he wants to be a mechanic. Something to Mason doesn't seem right. They got him at range with a single shot. That makes sense to you? The Gallardo case is not based on an actual case, but the circumstances of racial prejudice in the judicial system in the early 1930s. We're trying to tell the story of this era through this family. What it means to feel part of the American dream and to see it taken away from you. What does justice look like for the haves and the have-nots? There is no true justice. There's only the illusion of justice. The case reignites the firm and the enthusiasm for what they're doing. Ready? Good luck. Season two is big. It's a lot bigger than season one. It's more locations. It's more sets. It's more Los Angeles. The scale of the production is enormous and vast. You want it to feel as authentic and visceral as it possibly can be. Recreating 1930s Los Angeles is a massive undertaking. We go to different parts of Los Angeles, look at the different ideas of Los Angeles. There was the Hoovervilles, which our team created in an empty field in Santa Clarita. With our characters, we got to go home with them, see what their lives are like. The show also takes us to various nightclubs and the jazz scenes. The set that is the most amazing is always the courtroom. You do wonder, who would want to harm our city's last great shining star? Quite selfishly, as an actor, in those moments, you don't have to suspend your imagination because you look almost in any direction, and it feels like what it would have been at that time. You want to get it right because you want the audience to be fully immersed in it. Seeing LA as a historical subject through a whole team full of creative people's eyes is just a delight. You know what I like most about this town? No one tells you what was, only what can be. Perry Mason is an invitation to think about the past, but these issues, they are still very much part of our present. When you build the whole damn place, you get to make the whole damn rule book. The issues are universal. Love, greed, sex, crime, punishment. Those are issues we wrestle with today. Game ain't never gonna be fair. Not for us. We were aiming to make the show as honest, vulnerable, and entertaining as possible. Who else would you want on your side? I really hope that this story provokes thought for people. History is crazier than a lot of things you can come up with. When there's a lot of injustice in the world, innately in us, there's this great wish that the right thing will come through. We've got to figure out what's going on out there.
You feeling lucky?